Yo beautiful, it's Kyle Miller, America's Complete Life Coach, here with you on this terrific Tuesday. It's absolutely terrific. And also, it's a trying Tuesday. And I'll get to that in a little bit. Ha- have you ever met someone that seems to have life all good? That everything going on in his his or her life is awesome? That they seem like they have it easy and that happiness just flows to them. I know I've met some of these people in my life. And I'm like, how do they do it? How do they have so much joy in life? They must have had, like, I start having thoughts of like, they must have had easy life. They must have had everything given to them. They must have had, I start making up the story of reasons why they're happy instead of recognizing my my ability to choose to be happy because we each have a decision each and every day to be happy because I can promise you those people that seem to always radiate happiness they go through hard times they go through heart-wrenching moments where where it's hard that they they feel like they can't go on. They have those moments. Everyone does. And I know that one piece of attitude, I guess a piece of advice, and is to just have a positive attitude to quit the excuses. Stop bullcrapping yourself. Allow yourself to be happy. Too often we put happiness on a as a destination instead of the vehicle throughout life as we go throughout life we we have that destination of okay once i get a job once i once i make enough money once i get a a significant other that loves me once i can do a backflip <sighs> That will be a long time for me. But um, all these things, we were like once we get there. But even if you do accomplish those things, you recognize once you hit those things that they're not as significant as you think they should be. The happiness that you have is kind of empty. I know I have felt this way many times in my life. Like I remember when I used to play basketball and I was trained really hard to recover from my broken my broken fibula and tibula. And so I was working really hard and it took me a year to walk right again. And I was just grinding and every day and I wasn't finding joy along the journey. And so when that day came that I was able to walk and start to play basketball again... I had some joy, but my mind was on what's next. And I continued with that grind. So instead of having happiness as a destination, let's have it as a journey. Each day, let's rejoice in the things that we have. Be grateful. Be ecstatic that you get to live in the world. And I'm not saying, like, push all the negative feelings away. No. No. I want you to embrace those feelings and take the take the meaning of those feelings and write a new story. Allow your story to be a hero story instead of a losing story. You have that ability. You do. You have that power to make each day a beautiful day. So keep it up, gorgeous. Peace out.